about the graduating basic training and that kind of what happens? They graduate basic training that like that day, and then what happens? So they will graduate basic training, and then we'll have uh, cadre typically at the course chief, and then the MTLs will go over and pick them up and bring them over to SWIC. And then they'll spend a couple of days in processing, kind of doing like zero week style stuff, uh, getting their initial issue, uh, kind of doing their initial team building, like who's who kind of thing. Uh, and then that following Monday, it's right into the course. So it, it's not a quick, or it's, it's a pretty quick transition. Uh, it's basically just enough time for them to get their equipment, set up their bunks, figure out where Chow is and who to talk to if you're hurt or if you want to quit. So. Do you get many people that that quit during that, that zero week? Like that are just so, oh. they've been thinking about it during the entire basic training and then they get here and it's it's actually, oh, oh crap, I'm actually about to start and then screw this. Yeah, uh, I don't have the exact number. Um, I want to say ballpark, the last BMT was around 20-ish that right before they even started, they quit. We had a few prior service guys that came in, hadn't even in process yet, but they took the time to get the flights over, quit. Uh, so it's, I think it's that like that anticipation, right? Like you're on the the tail of like a bird about to jump out, and it's like, do I really want to jump out of this plane? Like I think that's what's getting to them, because they they don't start, they just they get right there, and technically they're not allowed to quit. So we had to be like, well, you have to start the course anyway. You have to go take the test because. I can't drop you from a course you haven't started. So. Right. You have, you're not even in a course yet. And that, that's where when people, people will hear this stuff and they'll be like, yeah, we heard you're not allowed to quit. Like you're going to make it through. No, it's, it's largely an admin issue. Your little number hasn't been assigned to my little course. So therefore I can't remove you from something you're not in. You have to do an event before I can actually remove you. That's crazy to me though, that 20 yeah. people showed up and were just like, you know what? Been training for six months. I've just went through air force basic training. I've been talking to you guys this entire yeah. time. I don't think this is for me. What, how, how do you, how do you even counsel those people? Like what, what does the conversation even uh, sound like? <laughs> yeah. I don't really have a good answer to that. It's you kind of just <laughs> asking like why, and they've already had their minds made up. Like you can, I don't want to, you said that some of these are in, prior but, service, um, right? Yeah. We had a few prior service guys that quit and usually with them, it's like, Oh, I, I didn't, train enough or like I've got an injury that's already nagging me. So like I can't speak to how well that is, but on the other side of it's there's a lot of guys trying to come in and if you knew you weren't even going to start, why'd you take the flight over here? You just kind of took somebody's spot. Exactly. So. Oh. Wild. So so let's talk about yeah. this stuff then. Let's not talk <laughs> about that population. Let's talk Let's talk the population that gets off the bus and you know, 100% these people are locked in. Like, what does that candidate look like for you? When you're like, when you look at them and you're like, that's what I want. I want 135 of these hitters going. Uh, so the ones I'm looking for are like, they don't have to be, it's, it's hard to like pick physically the ones that are the one, what you're looking for. Uh, I primarily look for teamwork, good communication. If you can do those two things, like the SWIC course is designed to, to get you physically where you need to be. So like if you can already come in and work with a team and you can communicate effectively, that's what I'm looking for. We can train everything else. So personally, I think some guys looking for like the big guys, okay. like the, it's funny. You'll see the guys that come in, they already have like the slick back hair, the, the, the dual sleeves, like, Oh man, that guy might make it. And then they jump in the pool and they're like walking on the bottom. Like, it's all right. Not for you. It's like they already have the, uh, the, uh, it's like they got the operator basic starter pack skin on whatever video game they're using, like full sleeve, slick hair, sort of mustache, oh, like scowl. Like, well, why are yeah. you so mad? You just got out of basic training. Why are you? Yeah. Take it the easy. filled with flannel, flannel and jeans, 511. Yeah. 100%. Yeah. In yeah. Chuck's. They've got Chuck Taylors. They've got flannel. Yeah. That's the, it. And some silver bracelet. Oh, there really is Everyone. a stereotype. That's Holy a cow. It's so bad. It's a stereotype because yep. it's true.